Welcome to a new series. We did the Meditative Sundays for some time and we felt it's good to do something new. So let me invite you to Light Thursdays. So on a Thursday now, we bring you some more light. Sometimes it could be a meditation, sometimes an invocation. But really, what this Light Thursday is all about is to help us all to integrate more light into our body. I have chosen today to be here with Nali. Some of you may remember Nali, our beautiful Agaporni. She left us almost a year ago. And we have, or Ceci has created a beautiful space for her, for her physical part. And Nali is really a phoenix. She couldn't really fly in this lifetime as she was born in a cage and although she was more free here around with us, flying was not something that she could really do. So today I'm inviting you to meet Nali. Not Nali the Akaporni, but Nali the Phoenix. We're living in a time where it seems like we have to make a choice. A choice between staying in this 3D world, in fear and control, in judgment and separation, in stress and so many other things. And of course, while this is happening on some level, there is also something else happening. The light is actually on. Indigenous people over eons have told us about it. The Atlanteans said we're coming back. And the star beings are also with us. So today, for this first episode of Light Thursdays, I'm inviting you to meet Nali the Phoenix and maybe your own Phoenix. So you can recharge and find a way to bring in more light into your being. For some, they say that this human body is going to change. It's going to get more light. It's going to get more DNA strands. And we will not be homo sapiens anymore the men and women of the mind, but we will become homo luminous, the men and women of the light, living from the heart. So whether you listen to Greg Braden or Dr. Bruce Lipton, Dr. Alberto Vialdo, many indigenous, the message is always the same. So this is the real thing. What is your choice? They say only 30% of the population is making that quantum leap and that evolution, quantum shift. But I, I feel maybe 30% have already come here and decided and promised. And the rest is yet here to make a choice. So I am not separating. I don't believe in exclusion. I'm inviting all of you who are listening today to work with your phoenix, to work with your evolution, to let more light in. So please sit or even lie down comfortably as I am guiding you into the realms of the stars. Just close your eyes and breathe consciously. We are here in a sacred place that is now folding around you, sealing like a beautiful ball around you. And it is in this space that you can connect. To 
to your luminous self to journey with me I'm inviting you to journey with me through the gate of the Southern Cross and to the star that is calling you or the systems of stars whether it's the Pleiades or Ceres whether it's Lyra or any other Just let the flute take you to your star home to connect to your own phoenix to open up so your physical body can make that shift and that choice. So just allow yourself to enter to your star home that you have chosen or that you have been guided to go to. The space might just be light or crystalline. There might be forms or shapes. However, you can perceive it. And notice that your own phoenix is coming your way to help you to evoke and remember and attune to this choices that you have already made or you still can make. Just connect with your phoenix and sense how your heart opens. You might hop on her to fly and to soar, to attune Opening up for more light. Opening up for your choice. Let the light in. Just be open for that choice.
allowing that click to remember, that click that makes you know your choice. You don't need to make this choice right now. You can make it whenever you want. You just have come today to know that you do have a choice. You have come today to connect to your own phoenix and to attune, to adjust and to upgrade to whatever level of light you choose at this time. You're coming back to the place that you entered, where you met your phoenix. She may want to come with you or you may want to take her with you. Whatever feels good for you, whatever resonates, please do. There is now a being of light from your own home star coming to you to bring you a gift, a gift that has been yours and got lost or stolen. Take that gift. It can be anything, a sign, a symbol, a book. wisdom, whatever it is, just receive it and enjoy this connection with your own star and its evolved and ascended being. And when we're ready, we're zooming again through the universe. And through the gate of the Southern Cross to come back to your place where you begun. Just come back, become fully aware of being back here, in the here and now. And when you're ready, blink your eyes open and smile. Thank you for sharing this with me today. I'm very keen to know what came for you. I'm very keen to hear about your phoenix, about your star. And thank you for sharing time with me today at Nali's place, I want to call it, and for her gift to us all of our own things. So have a beautiful day and hope to hear from you, to relate with you, to engage with you. And seeing you again next Thursday. Much love into your world. Namaste.